Hello and welcome. This is a tutorial showing you how to use the necklace um, templates, the bib necklace template from ArkeshaLewisGraphics.com. We're going to do this in Design Space. So when you come into Design Space, when you open it up, you want to hit Complex. Then on this next screen, you need to do nothing. So hit Continue. The good thing about these templates, you can use them as a template. So if you're just going to cut in glitter, vinyl, whatever you want to use to make this necklace, you don't have to use this image. You can use each each template, print and cut template can be used as a template. So we, we're doing the print and cut. So let's make sure you click on the save as print and cut and then hit save. Click the image and insert it. It's already working there, so let's delete these. Okay, when you first come in, you want to grab a square shape and you want to put it over the earring. You want to select everything and then hit slice. Hit duplicate. Go ahead and duplicate your earrings, group them, turn them off. Okay, with the necklace, I'm going to size it down just a little, and then we're going to just slice these sides apart. So we may need to turn it a little, then. Make sure the um, square gets over them completely. Slice. That off, that off. Grab one more square. Over them completely and slice. Now we can slide these two together and bring this together. You don't really need to slice these. These, if you want to, you can. You don't really need to. So we're going to put this at the pendant at zero. So if you want a large pendant, I'd say anything from, well, two is about a medium. Two and a half to three, those are large. So what we're going to do, we're going to make this maybe um a two point how about we we'll just do it at, leave it at two so you measure from here to here and make sure this point and this point are they're at two and you want to select all this and size it at the same time don't size this and then think this will be right it will this won't match up to the holes won't match up So size it at the same time. Now you have everything you need to do the print and cut necklace. And remember, um, in Cricut, it is 6.75, so you can't put this over here. It will have to go under here. So you have that. So let's cut these earrings on. slide these over so we can get this earring sized and actually we can ungroup and delete one of these to, until we get this sized let's say you don't want super big earrings let's say you want mm, medium so let's let's go with a 1.5 in width maybe you want a 1.5 so 1.5 in width will give you a at least a 2.1 in height for this um, earring and this will be 1.9 wide and 2.8 high so you got your earring size you want to make a duplicate of it now if you want to do um, if you want to do hook earrings 
and you want the back to look the same then you just duplicate this and no need to flip it but if you wanted to flip it you could if you want to um, horizontal flip this you could and if you want to do studs then you you really won't need to do the same same image on the back of the earring if you want to do hooks like I said you could flip it and um, do the same image and then you could use your um, hole puncher I use a 1 8 inch hole puncher to punch the holes if I don't automatically um, design them into the template but I didn't do this in case some people might want to um, do post earrings so let's assume here we're going to do post earrings so now we have the size we need for the earrings the size we need for the necklace and everything is laid out so all this can go together and we will attach it and hit make and then you will send this, hit continue, send it to your printer. Um, I always, I always like to, um, use the system dialog and add a bleed. I always add a bleed to my print and cut pieces. So once you have that all set up, then you hit print and have it connected to your printer and then go to your printer and um, print it out and then once it prints you stick it to your mat and load it to your Cricut machine and cut it out once everything is all cut then you'll come back here and you'll want to duplicate this and let's turn this off. Now let's detach this. Because if you're going to work with gold foil, uh, for this, for these necklace types, now you could do it with the earrings, but for the necklace, the earrings, if you're going to do them hook and you want like a glitter cardstock paper on the back you could do that but if you're going to do them post then I would put foil on the back so for let's just say for everything we're going to do foil on the back so this can come back over here and let's say you you work with the 12 by 12 foil sheets from um, Hobby Lobby Joann's whatever your craft store is make sure to get the foil that has the paper backing you will not want to use the foil with the shiny smooth white backing or the uh, the shiny foil silver backing all of that is mylar you don't want to use that you want to use cardstock actual card foil cardstock foil will be on the top cardstock paper will be on the back so let's say we're using foil so we can go back and attach this we don't need to take it apart or whatever but you may be using the 12 by 12 sheets or eight and a half by 11 sheets although I have not seen them in eight and a half by 11 either way it goes these are your pieces for the back so you want to make these a no feel all of, everything a no feel and you want to I'm just putting them gold so you can understand that I'm, this is foil. And you'll want to go ahead and horizontal flip it. Okay. Then you'll hit make. So you load your machine. You load your mat up with gold foil. You can use silver foil, whatever tone you're using for the set that you're making. Gold foil, silver foil rose gold foil brown foil green foil red foil blue whatever color it does not matter so you load your you load your mat up with the foil you're going to use for the set you're making and then you hit continue and let these pieces cut 
once that cuts you'll come back and you'll make a duplicate let's cut this one off and it for this next step it doesn't matter that it is flipped because it's um you can turn it either way you want to turn it to fit the back of the um necklace pieces so we're going to turn these black and just for the sake of not confusing you i will flip it back horizontally so that it matches up with um this see everything matches up so i turned it black because i usually use black um cardstock i rarely use white i just like the, the look of the black better so you're going to use this to make your layers and by layers i, I mean you built you're building this necklace piece by piece you're building it up so you're layering it up to make get the thickness you want and the um the height you want for the necklace now i usually use six layers when i make earrings necklaces whatever because it gives it's a it's not too thick and it gives you a sturdy piece a very sturdy piece so with this and you could do this this when you put this necklace together you could do it in the print and cut method or you could do it in the resin method. If you do resin, then you could do maybe four layers and that's enough. So with this, since it's already, you could take it apart and do, um, fix it so where you could fit it on eight and a half by 11. But since it's already together, you just duplicate this maybe six times, or you could just do one at a time and then hit make load your mat up with black cardstock and you won't want to use the cardstock that is 110 pounds i use recollections you can get it at michael's or joe i don't think you get i think it's parking lane at joanne's don't use that one use the recollections brand so you load put that sheet of cardstock on your mat load it up cut this out i cut twice i don't unload the mat when it's finished i just hit the cricket button again and cut it twice And then you'll just after that cuts, then you'll load it up, load your mat up six times. Or if you take this all apart, you can fix it. If you detach, you can put more over here. However, you need to do it. You just need six of each of these. And then you start piecing it together. There's videos on my YouTube and in the Facebook group showing how to um build print then cut pieces there's earring videos but this will be the same thing i hope this helps thanks for watching